Parashat Ve'yeshev, I like to share with you my thoughts on this parasha. But beforehand, I want to tell you that I mamish feel that it's a big chizuk for us to continue doing the Shnaim Yomi on a regular basis and growing in this parasha, learning from it, learning how it reflects to our life. So many things to learn when a person spends just this few minutes weekly learning the parasha, it gives him and us so much more. And therefore, Chazak and continue that. On our parasha, we found two stories that seem to be similar in the beginning. The story of Yosef and story of Yehuda. Two men that are seduced by women. Yosef by Eshet Potiphar, constantly. Yosef was able to hold very strong. He was very, he, held, he had restraint, even though she tried very hard to cause him to sin with her, seducing him in different ways, he held and he didn't fall for it. On the, on the contrary, Yehuda. Yehuda met Tamar on the street and she seduced him. Very quickly, he falls in it. And that's it. He sins. Interesting that eventually Yehuda becomes the king and Yosef does not. If I had to choose a king, I would say Yosef is much more fit for the job. Look at his restraint. Look how it's the tzidkut, the strength. And Yehuda just falls so easily. For becoming a king, you need to have a midah of restraint, a midah of gevura. How is it possible that Yehuda wins the royal uh, job, royal role of being the king of Klal Israel? The answer is that Yehuda was modeh. He admitted his faults. When a person admits his fault, although he fell on the sin, it's greater than a person that holds on and doesn't fall in the sin. If a person sins, does teshuvah, he regrets, he's modeh, he admits I was wrong, it's much greater. You know why it's much greater? Because when a first person takes responsibility, as we spoke in the past, and he admits his sins, you can, he, he can continue seeing everything that he does and examining it and see whether it's wrong, it's right, in the correct manner, in the correct eyes. When a person holds and doesn't fall for a sin, doesn't necessarily have that midah. And therefore, that midah of Yehuda, yeah, I was wrong. I was wrong, I'm going to change my ways. Study something that is even greater than the power of Yosef. It's so much so that Am Israel is not called only Yehudi on the name of Yehuda. Why? Because he admitted of everything that he did wrong. And once you admit, you have the path to correct your ways and become eventually the greater person of all people become the king. Shabbat Shalom.